Hello world, in today's video we will have a quick look at the graph tool of CCS. So let's understand what is this utility all about. So the graph utility is basically a memory viewer which shows or displays the data in XY plot format rather than the raw format display. Now the data formatting and plotting is done entirely by the host, but it uses the data present on the target's device memory, which means that the graph tool doesn't modify the data on target memory, but it only fetches it via the debug probe connection to update its view. Now for demonstration purpose, I have written a code for internal temperature sensor. Basically, the temperature value is updated continuously by invoking the ADC ISR continuously. It is a very simple piece of code. So the idea is to see the value of temperature in graph format. So let's have a look at the steps that are required for this. So first of all, we'll click on debug and I have already connected my launch pad to my computer. So it is configuring the debugger. Now we have to select the variable of our choice, which is temp in our case. And we have to right click on it after selecting it. And then we have to select add watch expression from the various options that we are getting. Once we've added it to the watch expression, you can find it in the expression window. Now for the next step, right click on the same line and select breakpoint. Now one may wonder why a breakpoint. So basically the graph tool requires a trigger to update its view and it is set by a debug halt event such as a breakpoint. So now right click on the breakpoint itself and select breakpoint properties and change the action property, which is remain halted at this time to refresh all windows. So this will ensure that the data of temp variable is displayed continuously without any halt. Now for the graph itself, right click on the temp variable in expressions window and select graph option from here. So that way you get your graph over here. Now you can see that on the X axis, you can see the sample count and the Y axis will gradually give you the magnitude or value of the samples. Then there's also a toolbar at the top and we'll see some of the functions out there as well. But first of all, let's see the graph in action. So for that, we resume. Now, as you can see, the initial value of the temp variable was zero and now it has increased to 32. So that is the current temperature. Also, I got a heated object near to the sensor and the temperature went a wee bit up from 32 to around 33 and so on and so forth. So yeah, that's how you can get a plot for variable of your choice. And I think maximum number of variables that people have tried are like four variables up till which you get like stable graph. Otherwise, I think there'll be stability issues and all of that. So you can also add more number of variables and see how it behaves. So this is the temp variable. Now let's have a quick look at some of the other options of the top toolbar. So there is something called as reset button in the top toolbar. So we're going to see that. So the moment you click on that button, you can see you get a zoomed in view of the graph or of the plot. So we get a better understanding or a detailed view of the value. So you can see that it is fluctuating from 32 to 33.2 and so on and so forth. So yeah, that's the reset graph button. Now there's also this graph properties button, which is there. So let's see that as well. So I click on graph properties. So you can find various options here as well. Now there is this display data size, which we're going to look at. So what this does is it allows you to set the data that should be viewable at a time on the graph before it is pushed off of the screen. So here it is set to 200, which means in the second update, the contents of the display are replaced with the new incoming data. So you keep on checking the X axis right now. It is set to like zero over here at the left hand side, extreme left. So that value will 
change initially as you can see it was zero it changed so after the first update it is now getting replaced by the new data and you can play around with other options as well in the graph properties like selection of grid and all so that is the graph properties next let's have a look at graph display properties so in this one you can change the color or the number format or the axis name and scales and all of that the scale so in the axis i can simply give another title from sample i can change it to say x axis so basically everything related to display can be modified here and you can check the different settings for yourself and see what you get so i'll simply say okay and as you can see the name got modified to x axis now there are some important points to remember first is despite the resemblance the graph utility cannot replace a high speed real time oscilloscope due to the update rate through debug probe also the latencies involved with the breakpoints can only reach as low as 0.1 seconds or 10 hertz under extremely ideal conditions that is it is extremely slow also the sampling rate is entirely arbitrary and does not reflect any peripherals configured on the target device does when should you use this tool so the graph tool should be used only as a post processing utility for signal analysis so yeah that was a quick tutorial of graph tool on ccs hope it helped you then as always like and share the video and please subscribe to the channel as i'll be uploading more such exciting stuff related to embedded systems and more projects are going to come up in future so do subscribe and that's it for today i'll see you next time bye world